Baby Bull Super Skybound here, and today we have a shorter video, partly due to school. Since I'm losing 6 plus hours 5 days a week, I needed something short, something quick, something very decisive so it won't take that much thought to review it. And in that, this video was formed. Finding Nemo, Nemo's underwater world of fun. Doesn't it sound great? Finding Nemo and Nemo's Underwater World of Fun was released by THQ in May 7th, 2003. I wasn't bothered by researching its successfulness or any of its other history because this game sucks. Yep, that fast. But enough history. Let's play the game. Title screen. Now I don't think I'll be needing a guide for this one because it's made for toddlers. I love Pixar and just about everything they've done, but when it comes to licensed games, it's pretty hit or miss. Once you're done with this loading screen, we get put into a cutscene? It's more like Marlin, Nemo, and Dory talking for a really long time about how the game works. But if you're a toddler like me, you'll forget to pay attention to everything he's just said, and you're dropped into the game confused, and all that explaining and world building goes to waste. I'll give the gist of it. Marlin is making a super swim challenge for Nemo! Dory was ignoring him the entire time and says something extremely irrelevant. In order to unlock a challenge for the super swim challenge, we have to get five of the same ocean artifact. How do we get these things? We play mini games, of course. There are 25 artifacts in all, making that five mini games that you have to play. Once you get all the artifacts in the mini game, they play an FMV cutscene ripped straight from the movie. Why it took two minutes to explain that, I will never know. Before we do anything required, let's do something stupid. Ready, gang? <laughs> I hate this! First of all, it isn't fun, you can't do anything, and all of its customizability options are useless, so this is basically listening to random chants. Secondly, this isn't required for anything, so why waste time, effort, and budget doing this if it's negatively fun and not required at all? And lastly, it's non-canonical. Remember that scene from Finding Dory where the tank gang is out of their plastic bags and they're singing the choir for Nemo's special event thing? No? Well that's because they were in a post credit scene and they're still in their plastic bags. Okay, enough of me complaining. Let's play the actual first minigame. Hey there, dude. <laughs> oh, hi. Ugh, his facial animations are awful. Seriously, it's just a low-framed, barely syncopated mouth animation. He goes on for a while, so let's get to the playing part. You play by quickly moving your mouse through an auto-scroller of sea animals while collecting shells until you find the exit. The shells aren't even needed for anything. All they do is add an extra challenge to the game and give you useless points. I completed the first five levels without dying and received all five artifacts, so now we get to watch an empty cutscene from the movie. Hey, let's go for the exit, dude! Yeehaw! What? No cutscene? Surely this is a mistake. I'll redo the fifth level. Way to go! Okay, maybe it's after 10 levels? Hey! It's your exit time, Jellyman! Way to go! You know what? I don't need to watch the cutscene, so I'll move on to the other games. What? I can't go to them? Why not? I did the challenge, just let me in. If you couldn't tell, my game is broken and no amount of restarting anything will get me through it. So now I have to grab some footage from the internet. If anyone out there knows why or how this happened, put it in the comments so I might be able to make a future video on this game. But if you don't know what the heck is going on here, then like the comments that did. Anyway, I watched the Let's Play to get the details about the rest of the game. And now, I'm glad that my game broke. Let's talk about this Bruce the Shark game. You throw kelp into his mouth while he throws jellyfish through the air and moves around a lot. He's like your two-year-old child that will not eat his darn carrots, Timothy! The game after that is a simple game of memory. You know, the card game. The only problem is Dory won't shut up. The next game is a memory cup game. And the last game is a memory pattern game. Look, we get it. Dory has amnesia. Was that your only game idea? It's literally sentient fish. 
but it's all worth it because we finally get to do the Super Swim Challenge. Let's just say that it sucks. It's basically the exact same as the Turtle Mini game, but it's with Nemo and the camera's closer. This game is a marketing scheme to rip parents of their money for children who don't know better. But it is likely that a parent would have to play a game for them. So I'm doing this for your sake. The graphics are, eh, and the animations are, eh, but the lip syncing is the god awful stuff of nightmares. All the gameplay is simple and unoriginal, and the controls are, eh, and the voice acting is also, say it with me, yeah. I can't go any further with a game that is so short and so shameless. So, out of today's scale of 1,569,875, I give Finding Nemo, Nemo's Underwater World of Fun, a 722,143, or a 46%. Thanks for watching. Hey there, Future Me. Do you remember this school year? You know, all the great times that we had and... Becky, our totally hot, amazing girlfriend, I remember her. And for those of you who aren't me from the future, subscribe and like and comment nice things. This video was pretty short, and I'm sorry for that, but school is taking up a lot of time, and I, yeah, I, I gotta do school. And special thanks to Yasinator360's old channel for the Let's Play on Finding Nemo, Nemo's Underwater World of Fun. Without him, this video would not be possible. So thanks for dealing with the short video, and I'll see you in September for one of my favorite games of all time. I'll give you a little hint. It was released in 2017. Okay, see ya. Here's some outtakes. This video was a bit shorter, I think, so I'm gonna pet out the outtakes by talking to you guys up front. Wow! Uh. Yeah! Cut that out! Diet Coke, the savior of humanity. Barely syncopated, 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 bladed, smeated. Ah, crap! I give Finding Nemo, Nemo's Underwater World of Fun, a s Oh, crap! So near the end of the editing process, um, I found this article right here that uh, said that Finding Dory had the tank gang in it, and I made a joke that they weren't in it. Remember that scene from Finding Dory when the fish from the tank were in the choir? No? Well, that's because they weren't in the movie at all! But they appeared after credits. I, I forgot that scene. Ah, <sighs> so now I need to record. Uh, that again and make a new joke. Let's see how it goes.